In this video, you'll see a region where polar nights are the order of the day, and you're also going to find the coldest capital city in the entire world. But first, let's start with number 10. Sokka Republic Residents of the Sokka Republic are forced to grapple with the fact that they live in the world's coldest city. No other place on Earth suffers such extreme weather conditions. During the brief summer, temperatures may exceed 29.4 degrees Fahrenheit, but would always fall back to minus 40 degrees Celsius. This one was the most challenging to capture among the most extremely cold cities as everything is covered in fog, ice, and shadows. When the photographer who wanted us to see the area stepped outside to film, his camera was covered with frost. Scientists wonder if there's a relationship between extreme environments and extreme emotions among inhabitants. To put it simply, it's far too cold for residents of this republic to dig the ground and bury their loved ones or for any crop to grow. The markets don't have fresh veggies, but there's a steady supply of cold, fresh fish. This region enjoys a rich history, dating back to when mammoths roamed the planet. Even though the land is too harsh for people, residents are kind and hospitable. Number 9. Dome Fuji, Antarctica In 2010, the Landsat 8 satellite pointed its instrument on the East Antarctic Ice Sheet and confirmed scientists' suspicions about the area's climate. The place was suspected to be extremely chilly, and boy were they right. The instrument read that the place had minus 92.3 degrees Celsius. It was then declared the coldest place on Earth behind Vostok Station. Although temperatures here barely top minus 30 degrees Celsius, humans have found a way to thrive there. The Dome Fuji Station was established in 1995 and the ice cores drilled in the region opened up 720,000 years of paleoclimatic history. With an altitude of 3,810 meters above sea level, Dome Fuji is the second highest summit of ice domes in East Antarctica. Snow is abundant at the mountain's peak during summer. It shouldn't surprise anybody that some of the coldest places on the planet are in Antarctica. The continent receives very little direct sunlight, with some parts sitting 14,000 feet above sea level. The higher one goes, the lower the atmospheric pressure. Number 8. Verkhoyonsk, Russia Verkhoyonsk is home to about a thousand people. The Russian town lies within the Arctic Circle and is one of the coldest places. It boasts one of the coldest temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere. Its unique climate is caused by cold, dense air called Siberian High, and it's also prone to temperature inversions in pockets where temperatures rise in altitude. Ironically, this region does see summer, where temperatures rise to 30 degrees Celsius. The town is the headquarters of temperature fluctuations between summer and winter. The clearer part in the area starts in May and lasts for around four months. July is the clearest month of the year, and during this period, the sky is clear partly cloudy 48% of the time. Due to the extreme latitude here, this region experiences polar nights during the winter. This means that the sun is continuously above the horizon for more than a day. Just imagine living in a part of the world where you need to boil ice to drink water. Well, it's the reality for people who live in this area. Number 7. Amundsen Scott Station, South Pole It's not only the far north that's often noted to have cold temperatures. The far south is almost as inhospitable as its northern counterpart. The Amundsen Scott Station is an American scientific research station known to be situated in the southernmost part of the Earth. Due to its unique location, the sun rises and sets only once a year, creating six months of sun followed by another six months of darkness. The lowest temperature during this dark period is minus 38 degrees Celsius. Only with specialized equipment can one survive this kind of temperature. Researchers have been working in this station since 1956. About 200 of them live there, and the station doesn't sit on the ground or an ice sheet, but it can adjust its elevation so as not to be buried in snow. In winter, the station is self-sufficient. All food and materials must be supplied before winter creeps in. The food is supplemented by the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station's greenhouse. Number 6. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia Ulaanbaatar is the capital of Mongolia and the largest city in the country. It's also the most populated city with extremely low temperatures. The area has a population of over 1.3 million residents that experience short but warm winters followed by an aggressively dry winter. The lowest recorded temperature is minus 13 degrees Celsius. Because the city lies in permafrost, it isn't easy to build there. Residents live in a traditional house built on the ground with locally sourced materials. One of the most intriguing characters of this region is its altitude. It's more than 500 meters higher than the next highest capital, Bishkek. Mongolia's climate is characterized by a variation in seasonal temperatures due to the absence of the moderating influence of oceans or seas. People who live here are some of the toughest you'll find on Earth as their body has since developed tolerance to the extreme cold weather. Number 5. Snag, Yukon Territory 
Canada is unarguably one of the coldest countries in the entire world. The town of Snag is one territory that gives you every reason not to dispute the fact. It's located in the Yukon Territory and was established during the Klondike Gold Rush. It was home to only a few people when it started until it grew to the number it is today. Snag set the record as the coldest city in the country after recording a mind-blowing temperature of about minus 81.4 degrees Fahrenheit. One interesting fact about this place is that there's a tinkling sound as the ice crystals from the water vapor in your breath hit the ground. You can even hear dogs barking from four miles away. Therefore, you may need to be careful with what you say here because you may never know who's listening. Residents also move like zombies and are scared not to breathe in the frigid air too deeply into their lungs. Number 4. Omayakan, Russia This list would be incomplete without mentioning another town in Russia. The Russian town of Omayakan is recognized as one of the coldest continuously inhabited places on the planet. Only about 500 people live here and they've been named one of the strongest people on the planet. On February 6, 1933, the town recorded the lowest temperature pegged at minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit. During the shortest days of the year, the night is 21 hours long and the town hosts the Cold Pole Festival at every dark winter. Residents use outhouses to cope with this harsh weather because indoor plumbing is known to freeze. Cars are either left running all the time or are heated in garages. Since the ground is too cold for crops to grow, residents rely solely on a meat-based diet. Omayakan is in a permafrost region, meaning that the ground is always below 32 degrees Celsius. The extreme winter climate is referred to as the Pole of Cold, and temperatures do not rise in summer, with the average hitting about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 3. Denali, Mount McKinley, Alaska Mount McKinley, now called Denali, Alaska, is famous for being the coldest mountain on Earth. It's located in the Alaskan range of Denali National Park and it stands at a staggering 20,310 feet above sea level. The chilly mountains boast temperatures as low as minus 22.9 degrees Fahrenheit during summer. There's a distinction between the tallest and highest mountain and the tallest mountain is measured from base to summit. Denali was later measured in 2015 and researchers believed it was shrinking because it was shorter than when it was measured in 1953. More than 400,000 people visit Denali National Park yearly between May and September. Over 800 mountain climbers registered with the park, and more than 32,000 people have tried to reach the summit, but only a few people have actually managed to reach the top. The success rate as of 2016 is only about 60%. Number 2. Vostok Research Station, Antarctica Doesn't it surprise you to hear that one of the coldest places on the planet is also one of the sunniest? The Vostok Research Station in Antarctica experiences more than 22 hours of sunlight daily in December, and to compare, there are zero hours of sunlight during the polar night. Therefore, Vostok has the lowest mean annual temperature of any weather station on the planet. The Soviet Union established the station in 1957, and it's since been the one-stop shop for adventurous scientific research. Scientists have drilled Lake Vostok, a massive subglacial lake hidden below the ice, using ice cores. They uncovered a multicellular and microbial organism environment cut off from the rest of the planet. Although it is devoid of light, it is speculated to be home to unique ecosystems. Russian scientists have drilled the upper part of the lake to reveal some of these details, and if we're lucky, we may learn a lot from this lake. Number 1. Clink Research Station, Greenland Greenland is the world's largest island, and it's really populated due to the massive ice sheet covering most of its surface. Dogged scientists travel through the tundra using snowmobiles with their instruments in the tow to set up meteorological stations in the difficult region. These stations have the most extreme circumstances in the northern hemisphere. The Klink Research Station is located near the ice sheet's highest point, where it's exposed to the harshest cold on the continent. In December of 1991, the automatic weather station recorded the temperature of this region as minus 69.6 degrees Celsius. This was 0.8 degrees below the record in 1892, and the World Meteorological Organization in Geneva officially recognized the record. Many people would rather vote the North Pole as the coldest spot in the Arctic, but this revelation proves otherwise. See you all next time!